Welcome to our daily devotion. The Methodist Church of Barbados invites you to sing, pray, and worship with us as we declare God's glory and celebrate His mighty acts. Heavenly Father, we bless and adore you and we praise you for your love, grace, and mercy. We praise you, loving God, for your goodness and loving kindness that enable us to gather another time to honor and glorify your holy name. Dear God, you are worthy of all our praise and we are blessed to be in your presence by faith through the power of your Holy Spirit. Father, we humbly ask your forgiveness for our sins against you and against each other. Have mercy on us, help us, and guide us in your grace. Gracious God, thank you for your forgiveness and your peace. Thank you for Jesus, our Lord and Savior, our Redeemer, Healer, Protector, and Friend. Through his sacrifice, we receive the gift of your salvation, which gives us new life and a new hope. Heavenly Father, as we go through this difficult and challenging time of the pandemic, strengthen our faith in you. May we have a closer walk with you. Help us to keep our hearts and minds stayed on you. Hide us under the shadow of your wings for you are our shelter in time of storm, and you have promised that you will never leave us or forsake us. Thank you, Lord. We pray for the healing of your people in this nation 
and around the world. We pray for those who are sick. Calm their fears and grant them your peace. Comfort all who are mourning the loss of loved ones through the coronavirus and other illnesses. Remember, dear Lord, the frontline workers. Give them strength to cope. Remember all those who are experiencing difficulties because of the many effects of the global pandemic. Dear Lord, help us to show compassion and to spread your love to others, lifting them up and assuring them that there is hope in you, the light of the world. Watch of us all and keep us safe and protected. This we pray in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. Yes, He is. So we lift up the holy hands in one accord. Singing, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's sing it again. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He's worthy to be He is worthy to be praised and adored. Yes, he so we lift up your holy hands in one accord. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Oh, yes, we do. He's worthy. He is worthy to be praised and adored. Yes, he is. So we lift up the holy hands in one accord. Singing, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. A reading from the book of Psalms, Psalm 91, reading from the New International Version. Here begins the reading. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the foul snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalk in darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord, who is my refuge, 
then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? The words of the Lord.
my brothers and sisters a blessed good evening to you I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus the Christ this evening's meditation comes from the first four verses of Psalm 91 assurance of God's protection my brothers and sisters we are living in some very challenging times where we find ourselves navigating uncharted waters due to the COVID virus that has impacted the entire world. There's a sense of uncertainty and many of us feel as though we are boxed in. There's a feeling of claustrophobia in our physical shelter. There's fear, loneliness, pain and suffering. It seems as though the world has turned upside down and inside out before our very eyes. Many persons are becoming impatient. Hopelessness and fear are plaguing the minds of many and there's much pain and suffering. We are experiencing separation from family and friends. Separation through the death of loved ones and through physical distancing. We're no longer able to worship as we are accustomed to. Our children are taught via the online platform. Some persons are working remotely from their homes, while many others have lost their jobs. Economies worldwide has gone to a standstill and the list goes on. It's frightening and overwhelming to say the least. Many of us never imagined we would be where we are at right now. Friends, take heart. This evening I'm here to remind all of us that there is hope. Hope in God's promises. Even as we experience these challenging times and go through these emotions, know that we have a God, a Heavenly Father who shelters, protects, and keeps us safe during these times. My friends, from time to time, we will experience challenges in our lives, some more than others. If there are any of you who have not been impacted one way or the other, I say hats off to you. But I share with you this evening that I have been impacted and continue to be impacted during these times. I have lost in the last month two first cousins. Siblings there were. I continue to experience deeply the hurt and pain of loved ones and friends who contract the COVID virus and those who have other health challenges. You may ask, how am I coping? What gives me strength? My strength comes through the word of God in Psalm 91. The writer of Psalm 91 encourages you and I to seek God's divine protection through the words of this Psalm. This Psalm is a powerful Psalm. It shields and protects us when we meditate on it. Praying the words in faith with thanksgiving in our hearts. You and I will find rest and peace and feel the presence of God when we recite this psalm. We will experience the power of God's protection against fear and all the emotions you and I might be facing at this present time. My friends, our God does not want us to be overwhelmed with fear. And we must not allow fear to get the better of us. The Apostle Paul reminds us in 2 Timothy 1.7 For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. Instead of being fearful, we must rely on God 
believe his word and take up his promise to us. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 1 of Psalm 91 Resting in the shadow of the Almighty is a place of safety and security, a place where we live and enjoy the comfort of God's presence. It is a place where we are assured of God's protection, for God alone is our protector. My friends, none of us are immune from trials, challenges, or misfortunes. It is in time like these that we stand on the word of God. The word of God which is alive and active. I remember being in a session a few years ago which was conducted by our superintendent minister, the Reverend Derek Richards. There he encouraged those present to practice praying God's word back to God. Notice that verse 2 says, I will say. Christian friends, let's focus on the word say. In this verse, we must learn to verbalize our trust and pray God's word back to God. Lord, you are my refuge. You are my fortress. You are my Lord and my God. In you alone I put my faith and my thrust. Declare this aloud so that it permeates the atmosphere and keep affirming it. My brothers and sisters, speaking and declaring the word of God is one way of expressing our faith and trust in God. You and I must learn to declare God's word over every challenge, circumstance, and situation that confronts us. God is our deliverer. Verse 3 tells us, For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. The free dictionary's definition of a fowler is a person who hunts wild fowls or birds. I am sure if we had some fowlers here in Barbados, we wouldn't be able to see so many wild pigeons or fowls running around in our neighborhoods. My friends, I am sure that those of us over 50 years old can remember how as children we would set fly traps for the doves, where we would put a little rice or scratch grain in the trap and wait patiently for the dove to enter, then pull the cord trapping the dove on the inside. We were fowlers in those days before even knowing it. But there is a vicious fowler whose mission is to destroy God's children. He is Satan, the enemy, and he knows exactly what will most hook us and the thoughts to put in our minds. That's why Peter admonishes us in 1 Peter 5 verses 8 and 9. Discipline yourselves. Keep alert. Like a roaring lion, your adversary the devil prowls around, looking for someone to devour. Resist him. Be steadfast in your faith, for you know that your brothers and sisters in all the world are undergoing the same kind of suffering. Finally, my brothers and sisters, he will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find a refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Verse 4 of Psalm 91. Christian friends, can you imagine what it is like to be covered with God's feathers and to find refuge under his wings? Have you ever observed a mother hen how she protects her chicks by covering them under her wings? 
as she protects them and nurtures them in love. So it is with you and I. If we seek refuge on the God's wings. God is waiting and he's always waiting to welcome us. Just as the baby chicks run to the mother hen, God waits for us to run to him. God is ever faithful and will remain faithful to his promises, for he is our shield and defender. When the enemy comes to corrupt the thoughts in your mind, take authority over those thoughts and remind him that your faith is strong in the Lord and God's faithfulness is your shield and defender. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Merciful God, God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid or in quarantine or isolation. Gracious God, in their loneliness, be their consolation. In their anxiety, be their hope. In their darkness, be their light. Lord, pour your healing balm upon them, body, mind, and soul. In Jesus' precious name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Receive the benediction. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and remain with each of us this evening and forevermore. Amen and Amen. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. And all my days I've been held in your head. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will see of the goodness. Of God, cause all my life you have been faithful, and all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing of the goodness. Of God, I love your voice. You will let me through the fire, and in darkest night, you will close like no other. I've known you as a father, I've known you as a friend, and I have lived. Of God, yeah. And all my life you have been faithful. Whoa. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing of the goodness. Is running back.
for being a part of our daily devotion. We trust it has been a blessing to you. Now together, let us hold fast to his word and may it dwell in all of us richly.